So before you build a circle graph, you have to look at the data involved to figure out how big each angle needs to be and exactly how many degrees they need to be. So I did a survey with some students on if they would adopt school uniforms in class, and you can see the votes that were received in each category, which then I took and made fractions to convert into percentages. And the next thing I need to do is I need to convert each of these percentages into degrees for the actual circle. Um, so because a circle is exactly 360 degrees, I need to take every single percentage or fraction and multiply them by 360 since there's 360 degrees in a circle. It's not like percentages which are out of 100. Circles are out of 360 degrees. So if I take 16% or 4 25ths times 360, my first uh, angle measure for the amount of yes votes is going to come out to 57.6 degrees which I'm gonna round these to the nearest whole number. With the size of our protractors, it doesn't really benefit me to keep a decimal here. So um, I wouldn't be able to find it. So that's why I'm just gonna round it to the nearest whole number. When I do the next one, 64% of a circle, uh, 360 degrees, comes out to 230.4, which when rounded is 230. 20% 20 of a circle, 20% 20 of 360 comes out to exactly 72 degrees, no rounding necessary. And when I add those up, I get 360 exactly, which tells me that everything was done accurately. And if, if I would be off by a degree or two, that would be understandable, knowing that we did round some of our numbers, but I shouldn't be off by any more than that.